Hello and welcome back everyone to another video. Do you know the situation? There are chests everywhere and there's a really big mess on each of them. Well, you need a storage system. And of course, there's a lot of great designs out there, like this rock solid and easy solution by Impulse as we. But, well, it doesn't look like you're going to have a double chest of diamonds soon, and there are not even enough beacons to fill up the hopper. And who the heck needs a full double chest of compi? Yeah. But if you don't have a chest for each of them, then uh, your fancy never stars will end up in the same chest like all those unstackable mob drops. So, what you really want to do is hook this output up to some sort of storage system that allows different kinds of items to be in a single chest. So the way those storage systems normally work is by having a bunch of hoppers pointing into the chests in front of them, which are locked by redstone. And some kind of mechanism, in this case chickens, makes sure that the torches are unlocked in the right order so that the items go into the hopper and have enough time to uh, be transported into the chest in front of them instead of going straight down like they would do normally if all the hoppers were unlocked. The major problem with this design is that all the slots have to be occupied by some items or otherwise all those mob drops will make their way into the sorting system. This is not only very ugly, but also very annoying, because once you take out an item and there is now an empty slot, you have to get somewhere, you have to search for a stone into your other sorting system to put into there, and now you haven't got any stone, and well, you get the idea. Okay, so I will tell you a little bit more about those chickens at the end of the video, but for now, let's move on to the solution for all of your problems, the ultimate auto-adaptive multiple item sorting system that allows empty slots in your target chests. Also at the top I built an Impulse SV design just because there was some place and I think it fits very nicely in there. But does it work? Let's find out. I got some items over here that I want to sort, and I will just put them into this input chest. And now we have to wait. So the diamonds should end up in this chest, since there are already diamonds in here, well at least one. And the redstone will make its way over to the redstone chest and the sword will land in the overflow chest since the sword is not sortable within stack sorting system. So you see here are the diamonds. Uh, we can walk over to the redstone chest and there's also the redstone and in the overflow chest we got the emeralds and the diamond sword. And you're possibly wondering, well the emeralds are definitely valuable, why aren't they in this chest? Well, because there aren't any emeralds in here yet. But if we want future emeralds to go into this chest as well, you can just take one emerald or two and put them in there. And from now on, every emerald will be sorted into this chest over here. And there it is. Okay, so now that you've seen it in action, let me quickly show you how it looks without all those decorative stuff ab around it. So this is the plain sorting module, and now you have two options. You can either check out the world download in the description and start playing with the thing, or if you're interested in how it works exactly and you've got another 20 to 25 minutes to watch a video, then click on the link in the description or on the screen to watch my how it works explained video on this build. If you decide not to watch the other video, then 
See you next time. Thanks for watching and bye bye.